<laughs> whatever. And in this uh, sexually liberated world, uh, oh, gentle, handsome man, uh, <laughs> that, that always turned my head. And I feel we humans are more blends uh, of degrees of male and female that uh, our conventional societies recognize. I mean, for example, one day in my 30s, I'm getting out of the shower and uh, looking at myself in the mirror and what? I have absolutely no hair under my arms anymore. I mean, up to then, I've been, a, you know, like a normal hairy, you know, kind of monkey male, hairy armpits, and uh, not any, even one hair anymore, just, you know, so uh, apparently some uh, hormone shifted. Okay. And, you know, at the hot spring, I enjoyed many world-class hip workshops, uh, like finding the goddess within by the world's finest tantra master, Margo and uh, yeah, she's retired in Bali. Mm -hmm. So I reflected. Well, maybe I'm bisexual. Oh, closet bisexual. I, I just don't have the courage to um, check that out or be open to it, you know. And so uh, I gave myself six months at the hot springs to become bisexual. Yeah. And, uh, hmm. Hmm. Didn't work out as I expected. Uh, hey, why is no hunky stud picking me up for a hot one night stand? Well, you know, after six months, my experiment naturally fizzled out. Uh, nothing bad happened. Uh, and I give myself credit, you know, for being open for trying. <sighs> Whew. Um, what am I trying to say? Uh, sexual identity is complex, confusing, often frightening. So, be kind to yourself, okay? during your self-sexual search. And be extra tolerant of everyone around you as they're trying to figure out their sexual identity. Uh, and for me, I'm coming out right now with this. Uh, you know, if human sexuality on planet Earth weren't complex enough to deal with, Mm. In my own life, for the last 52 years, I have lived in an intense love relationship with a female goddess from the astral plane, from a plane where creatures are made out of scintillating light particles. Uh, when I was 21 years old, she came into my life in a Tibetan monastery, way remote in the Himalayas. I was just 21. I call her Goddess Earth, or, you know, Earthy, affectionately. Hi, Earthy. Um, in fact, Earthy is co-creating this video performance right now. I've talked about her in some of my books, and people ask me, well, does she still appear in your meditations? And I answer, hey, you're talking to her right now. 
Well, uh, so uh, in a mystical sense, I am male and female. Half male human earth body and half female celestial angelic body. Yeah, yin yang. Tantra, Shiva, Shakti. Uh, male, female, fused creature. Mm. Uh, yeah, and if I talked about my goddess within girlfriend, uh, 99% of folks considered me plain fucking nuts. 99%. So I shut up. I closeted up, stayed and lived in the closet. Sound familiar to anybody out there? It wasn't worth it. The blowback from all the idiots around me just made me depressed. I mean, back in the day, we're talking in the 60s, we had no words. There's no language for these sexual realities. Well, things are better today. Yeah, we have uh, two spirited. Hi, Earthy. Oh, we often merge into one. Sometimes it's more fun to be two, so we can look at each other and so on. Uh, non binary. Hey. Okay. And, you know, honest and respectful. Plural pronouns. It's even on you go get food stamps. They ask you now, how, you, how would you like to be addressed? Good. So, slowly, I'm coming out and uh, about my goddess was in by performing and speaking about it to you right now in these video performances. Uh, so now, how many folks consider me plain fucking nuts? Ninety-five <laughs> percent. Well, that's down from 99%. <laughs> and my life just got a little easier. Okay? I can be a little more me. You know. Ah. Uh, well, uh, let's, let's get right down to the essence. To me, love, whether earthly or celestial, whether two men, between two women, or Two women and men with a transgender thrown in to spice it up. Menage de trois. Tibetan lustful bikini. <laughs> Earth, yeah. Or like a hot Christian angel. Lustful angels, huh? The whole palette, the entire spectrum. The whole rainbow must be honored. <laughs> yeah, okay. Let's make it even more... Challenging. Um, these emotional and sexual preferences, well, they're subject to further growth and change at any time. Thou notice that? Inner growth happens. New chapters in life, one follows another. Uh, in my uh, elder years, you know, when I'm octogenarian, I may fall in love with a sensitive, handsome man and live with him. Uh, I'm just staying open and free, and while I honor and respect the ever-evolving choices of the other loving human mammals around me. Well, Kipling uh, last night, yeah, feeling where he truly is on the sexual palette. Uh, yeah. This is how he wakes up this morning. <laughs>